Hey guys, just going to do a video on how to uh, assemble IndyLink tracks. Uh, this is mainly for the beginners that have never, um, that are sort of kind of uh, daunting, well, have that daunting feeling of building, you know, IndyLink tracks. They're not as hard as what you think, guys. Um, these are the Tamiya uh, any link tracks, individual tracks, these aren't workables, these are static tracks, but these are a lot better than your rubber band tracks that you that you do get in most kits, okay? So um, just to start off, I've got all the tracks cut off, okay, off the sprue. Um, they were on here, okay, so that's how they come. I've just basically all in here and I've just cut them off on the hard edge. Um, so you've still got all the um, where the cut marks on the edge but I have used the sprue cutters and basically just hard up against the edge of the track link just cut them off now I haven't cleaned them up yet um, I generally tracks like this I generally assemble the tracks um, well before I go on guys too you're going to get tracks um, like magic tracks are awesome okay I'm just going to talk a little bit about it from my experiences Magic tracks are straight out of the bag. They're the ones that are made by Dragon. You don't have to cut them off. They're all just like this. No, you don't have to cut them off or nothing. They're all just loose in the bag. And all you got to do is just count them out and glue them together. Okay. Um, you're going to get other tracks like uh, Ryefields, Model Carsten, uh, where the sprue gates are actually on the hinges themselves. Now, that can be a bit tricky because, you know, you, yeah, you are going to have to clean them up. And there are multiple... Um, it's generally somewhere between three to four sprue gates you've got to clean off per link um, and then some of the other tracks you've got pins to put in you've got guide horns to glue on but you know if if you are new to building indie links um, magic tracks by dragon are pretty easy to I guess you could start there because there's no cleaning up involved um, these Tamir ones are just noticing now are really really pretty nice actually because there aren't any ejector pin marks on them that I can see so you've got no ejector pin marks they generally sit here on the flat part of the track um, on the road wheel side of the track track link so you've generally got maybe two sometimes three ejector pin marks to clean up but on on these you don't have any which is which is kind of nice to do which I've only just noticed um, so but then getting back to what I was saying before I generally build my tracks, and I've already started these, and I thought this would be a pretty good opportunity to make a video for the new guys here, um, if you, especially if you're new to building um, tracks, like, because tracks can be, like I said, out of the video, track can be daunting and think, oh no, this is, this is um, it's going to be really hard, but they're not as hard as what you think, guys. What I'm talking about, these, um, I won't, I can't adjust the camera because I've actually got the focus, I'm using my webcam, but you can see, if it's a close-up shot of they're actually the set of tracks that I made earlier on tonight. Um, they're on the Berg Panther. Okay, these aren't the right tracks. Um, these are Panther G tracks on a Berg Panther. So, but you know, I don't care. The tracks actually came with the Tallery kit. Were actually just terrible. They were just silver vinyl tracks. They just went straight in the bin as soon as I pulled them out of the bag. So this is the next best thing that I've got um, to go on this build. Yeah, like I, I'm not going to enter this in a competition. This is just for you know my own personal enjoyment on the shelf. So you know this doesn't matter. But um, yeah, so th the glue is drying. So you can see that yeah, they have been molded on onto the road wheels, and the, the tracks are drying. Now I'll get to that a bit later on. Now what we're going to do is this will be a full video on how to build tracks and paint them. The big thing is is the glue that you use, okay, guys? You don't want a glue that sets fast. So you, if you know my glues, you don't want to be using the Tetra because or the MEK because that just sets that just sets like a rock real quick. And then before you know it, you're not going to be able to bend your tracks around the road wheels. Um, glues I do recommend using um, would be that I have would be as if you've got it is this the homebrew liquid poly that's not bad because that's a slow setting glue uh this tamir cement which is the white cap i've actually changed the white cap i've thrown away the white cap and i've actually put a um a tamir extra, tamir extra thin cap on here 
because it's got the fine brush. If you, do, if you guys do know what I'm talking about, in the white cap you do get a really big fat brush, which is, to me, it's it's no good. It just, just puts on too much glue. So for delicate work, especially for tracks, you want like a really fine brush. Okay, so the one that comes in the Tamiya extra thin bottle um, is... It will do quite nicely, and if you guys are new to the hobby, like I keep saying, because this is what these videos are made for, um, or if you are an experienced model and you just want to, um, just something to watch because you're bored, um, this is what the Tamiya Extra Thin looks like, okay, so I'm just basically taking the cap off that and chucked it straight into the um, white cap uh, bottle of the cement here, okay. Another glue that's going to work, and this is readily available around the world, is the Revell Contact Professional Cement? Okay, so it's a needle point um, applicator, so you know you can use this. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Yeah, so this is something else you can use because all these three, these three glues here, um, they do give you a bit of working time. So I mean, I have done tracks with to me extra thin, but it tends to uh, go everywhere like it's even though it's you're really careful that it just because it is so thin it just sort of just goes everywhere and i sort of tend to have a bit of trouble um working with it and it does sort of go off a little bit quicker than what this uh, white cap cement is so i mean each to their own if you do use timmy extra thin and it does work for you guys by by all means use it but um you know if you are new and you sort of want something that's that you've got a bit of playing time with you know these are the they're, they're the glues i do recommend using so here's a section i've already started so this doesn't matter it's sort of gone off a little bit you can see how you can still bend it this is what i'm talking about you can still bend it after about 20 minutes um if you, if you have a glue that sets quite quickly you've got to sort of build it in sections then glue it and build it in sections then glue it and then manipulate it around the road wheels and that can be quite a tricky because you don't get a nice neat joint or um, a nice section of track something else you're going to need to use um, some kits you get a jig like a track jig so you lower your tracks out but what I tend to use is a if I could find it because I only just had it momentarily it's just a steel ruler okay um, what this allows you to do is as you're building the tracks you can put pressure down on the tracks and flatten them right out so I'll give you a side on view if you flatten the tracks down this is your bench top where my finger is you lay the ruler press down quite hard on it and that will straighten out all the tracks and that allows you to squeeze them together like on both ends without the tracks buckling up and you can also as you get a little bit of length you can just lay the um, ruler or straight edge it doesn't have to be this ruler you can be as long as you got like a nice hard straight edge to use that'll be fine guys and you can use this straight edge of the ruler up against the guide horns and you can make sure the tracks are actually straight because if you're not careful any or even if you've got a cutting mat you can use the line to check your check the straightness because what will happen if you're not careful your tracks as you glue them along they will get bow out and then when you do try to glue them to get um, bend them around the tracks and the glue is starting to go off you're going to have all sorts of troubles so there's probably something else you're going to need just a little straight edge handy okay so all we're going to do, so starting off with the links, so we've already started it off. So you're going to want to clean off, and I'll try and keep this glue bottle in shot here as well. So this um, white glue or this white cap version of the Tamiya cement tends to build up and it will run down in a big dollop on the end of your um, brush tip. So you are going to have to be sort of, you have to screed it off. Um, so it doesn't you don't come into that problem so all you need to do is you push the tracks together and they these to me tracks do fit together quite nicely there's no clean up um, so and all we're going to do is we're going to put the glue if you can see if i get this in shot for you sorry about that guys so you just have to put a little bit there and you don't have to go around the entire recess or the, the join is um, just on these four points here is enough okay so just to finish it off so you don't need that much okay so you can see how little glue we're putting on there 
and we're just going to keep going and I will speed up this video once we get through a few of these links so just a little bit just so enough so that seeps in there I mean this glue is thick enough to sort of um, sort of have a bit of a build up in, in between the in the, between the gaps so it makes contact with the um, with the other the two parts and it is thin enough so it will just basically run in there nicely okay so and always keeping an eye on the end of the tip because you can watch this sometimes you'll see the actual glue run down so I just leave it won't do it I if I can clean it off enough but there probably will be a time where it will build up and you'll see it and I'll show you what I'm talking about well I shall actually show you right now so, so say you, you've dipped it in the bottle okay you've only screwed it off a couple of times so it won't, won't do it now okay you see how it's starting to pull okay you see that it's starting to pull down the bottom it's probably can't see it because the camera's above but if, I, if you watch it it will run down and shit if that drops on your track you sort of all kinds of troubles it leaves a big gooey mess and you got to try and clean this up okay so i'm just going to do one more track but one more link so you just push it in like so and screed off your brush okay so And don't well, doesn't matter if the um, the link's not sitting in there properly. Okay, so what you need to do is you get your ruler, press down on the link so your track so you're pressing every oh, so you're pressing everything down and even pressure and all you do is you get your fingers and you push. Now like I said before, with this ruler on top, the tracks aren't gonna buckle. Like with pressure it's not gonna bow up and then it's gonna come to um, come apart so and then just check your straightness by that and just carefully pressing out like that so what I'm going to do now guys I'm actually going to speed up the video and then I'm going to get these links <coughs> to a certain length then we're going to check them okay
it's gonna have track sag so we're just gonna run this around and then you don't want and it's up to you okay it depends on how you build your model when, when you do this it's up to you like so I know a lot of a lot of my mates do put the tracks on during the construction stage um, prior to painting and they paint the tracks paint the tracks up um, with the whole model like so depends on how you want to do it that's entirely up to you so this video is not about how to or when to build tracks um, on your model it's this is basically how to assemble them okay so I want that about there okay so what you need to do is just a quick tip is you want some paper towel handy okay so it's not really handy because I just pulled out and grabbed it so I forgot about it so when I can find that is just get a pair of scissors so you get some paper towel pair of scissors and just chop up some chunks of paper towel okay, so it'll fold it up okay now what you want to do is stuff it okay so we're just going to try and get these in there nice you want to stuff them in here that forward now I want the brake right at the end of these tracks here of these um, on the wheel so you're going to keep pushing okay still push some more okay so manipulate the tracks around the on the wheel glued the tracks right okay keep bending around okay so straight away I can see that I'm going to need more links okay okay so we only need a few more so all we're going to do is back to the music and I'm just going to finish assembling the track link So, I think we'll one link over. Just double check, we may need that link yet. Okay, so make sure your tracks all. Okay, so that looks right. So, all we're going to do is to finish it off, is I'm just going to run a bit of glue in here. We're just going to carefully push them on. Okay. So we go, we go, we go.
okay so what you're going to want to do now is just leave them okay don't try don't be tempted to glue the back end but you still want just check while they're still flexible that they everything does line up because if you don't when the glue does go hard and set you're going to have a lot of troubles trying to um get these to Okay, so pretty much guys, that's it, that's how you um, build and apply tracks to your tank, alright, so stay tuned for part 2, and we will look at painting it and weathering it, so thanks for watching guys, hope this video helped, uh, thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you didn't like it, if you want any more ideas for other videos, leave a comment down below, and I'll do my very best to get them out for you. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Catch you later. Bye-bye.